Welcome back to the Cars and Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mark and today I'm going to show you how we have bought and sold a 2008 Vauxhall Corsa uh, 1.3 diesel through BCA. So I was scrolling through BCA mobile app and saved a few cars, did some MOT checks, scrolled through the, the, the photos and started putting some proxy bids on. Proxy bids so your maximum bid amount. Always bear in mind fees on top. I generally allow around £300 or so up to £2,000. So this particular one, um, 2008 Forks of Corsa, has 66,000 miles on um, from Birmingham Perry Bar. When searching um, for cars on the BCA mobile app, I always choose um, kind of local um, BCA sites to me. So because I'm in Gloucestershire, so I generally choose anyone's in Birmingham, um, Bristol, it's probably up to Nottingham, Derby. So I generally go on Auto Trader to um, just to get a general idea as to the value of cars I maybe not have had any um, dealings with. Um, or if I think the market's changed um, as it has done over the past couple of years, especially post-COVID. So going back to the Vauxhall Corsa, um, I think I put an £800 proxy bid in. Um, it finished at £700. With fees, that come up to £936. After a quick transfer of funds, um, arranging collection and booking a train ticket to Birmingham Perry Bar, I was soon on my way there. So on arrival, um, quickly check in, um, had a quick look around the car. Um, I could see it needed a few things, so it needed some number plates and wheel trims. Um, there was some bubbling on the bonnet, so it might need a new bonnet at the time as well. Um, and it needed fuel, which to be fair, most times they do. So before setting off, um, do all your usual checks. Check oil levels, check coolant levels, check underneath to make sure there's no leaks anywhere. You're not meant to, um, but I generally give it a quick uh, whiz around the, the BCA car park just to make sure it's drivable because obviously I'm going to be driving around 50 miles um, back home. So you want to make sure it's roadworthy really. So once I was happy with my checks, um, there's literally a fuel station just outside the, the unit. So I um, put some fuel in and I was on my way. So an hour later, back home, ordered some number plates on eBay, went to Halfords to pick up some wheel trims. They were £14, number plates were £12. The fuel I stuck in was £23. The train ticket to Birmingham, New, um, Birmingham Perry Bar was £19. And I thought, after I sanded back on the bonnet, um, it didn't really do anything. So I found a breaker um, who was breaking one, actually up in Birmingham, who um, only wanted £40 for the bonnet. So up to Birmingham I went, picked it up, and popped it on the um, popped it on the car. So once I put the number plates on, the wheel trims, and the bonnet, um, gave it a good wash, um, good polish as well, um, just to make it a lot more presentable and it stands out from the competition essentially. Once I was happy with how it looked, um, I have got a, a little car parking area just down the road from me uh, where I usually take all the pictures um, so I took about 20 or 30 photos or so did a walk around video um, popped them up onto an app I use called Snapseed brilliant app just pops the, um, the colours out a little bit makes the, um, the pictures stand out from the crowd a bit more so once I was happy with the photos um, wrote up a description um, again, write as much as you can. So basically, if it's got any service history, if it's got any maintenance history, um, find out the, the spec of the car as well. And the best way to do that is either to jump on Auto Trader or eBay and look at some of the, the listings made by dealerships who will list every single um, item on there, such as air conditioning, if it's got electric seats, heated seats. Those are the kind of things that, you know, you can list in the description just to make it a bit more descriptive. So once I put up on Facebook, I had it advertised at 2 2 50. Uh, within two days, I had someone come and look at it, um, a young couple, first car, um, and we did a deal at 2 one fifty. So overall, the cost for the car with the, um, the fees, 
the train ticket, the fuel, the number plate, the wheel trims and the bonnet come to £1,044, meaning we made £1,106 profit, just over doubling our money. From that, um, the next flip, I usually use the money I initially invested, so in this case it would be £1,044, bank the profit um, and keep 20% by for tax purposes, which is in this case around £220, and then you're left with around £800 profit. Bear in mind, this is just profit for, for one car. Um, you've got to take into consideration trade insurance, trade plates, um, public liability insurance if you've got a unit or your own premises where you've got few ins. And also, work out how many man hours you put into it, just to make sure it's worth your time and effort doing what you're doing. Um, sometimes you'll have really good days, but also sometimes you will have really bad days. So, for example, on this Corsa, it probably took me um, a two and a half to three hour round trip to get to Birmingham and back. And half an hour trip to Halfers to pick up the wheel trims. Um, another hour putting on the bonnet and the number plates and the trims. Two hours washing, polishing, cleaning the entire car. And around an hour or so taking photos. Oh, and also around half an hour advertising on Facebook as well. So if we calculate it as an hourly rate, um, you've got 8 hours divided by 1,106, which is a profit you made, equals £138 per hour, which isn't bad for a few days' work. So yeah, that's it. I'll try and do some more videos like this in the future, um, just showing you the, the, the basics. Any questions you have, pop in the comments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you in the next video.